It's new at 8 o'clock. WBZ confirming the name of the man killed by a Green Line trolley last night. This is Adam White. His family spoke to our Tammy Mutasa. She joins us live outside North Station where that accident happened. Tammy. Chris, and that's right. Tonight I did speak with the victim's family, and as you can imagine, they are heartbroken and still trying to process this tragedy. They tell me that that young man had been out with his girlfriend, and it was after the Celtics game when he was killed in a terrible accident right here at the North Station. Tonight, the devastated family of 30 year old Adam White is mourning the loss of a beloved son and brother. They say he was killed in the North Station train accident just after midnight. Following the Celtics game, his family says he was a wonderful, kind person and an avid golfer. Stuck underneath the train on the track, Green Line outbound. The MBTA says the 30-year-old was trying to board a Medford-bound Green Line trolley and missed it. T police say he kicked the side of the trolley as it was leaving, and Adam lost his balance and fell under the trolley as it was in motion, departing the station. Be careful, follow the rules, um, and do your best to get home safely because every, everybody has somebody at home that cares about them. A day after the tragedy on the tracks, some wonder what could have been done, if anything, to prevent it. I feel like there must be a built-in precaution that this, especially since this is such a wide system and the subway has been around for so long and they're constantly reconstructing and renovating and doing a lot of upgrades. Rail safety expert Carl Berkowitz says it would be helpful to have platform conductors making sure riders don't get too close to the trains. He says at some point, the T should release security video leading up to the incident. In the New York City Transit, when they have special events and things of that nature, they have what they call platform conductors, uh, individuals who are assigned to the platform to help people. The yellow lines and the safety restrictions for passengers and people waiting are there for a reason. And if those aren't followed, unfortunately, sometimes those things happen. Now, the MBTA hasn't said exactly where that victim was standing when that incident happened. Officials did send their condolences to his family. Live at the North Station, Tammy Matassa, WBZ News.